started the uh, barbecue up. Just got my uh, Weber starter there with the, with the charcoal in. Nice, uh, reasonable size lumps. Lighting up nicely. I use uh, some nice little uh, natural lighters in there and then I put it using the uh, minion method. Charcoals all around. Very good. Got some uh, beef ribs and brisket to cook today. Fun. Got my uh, brisket and beef ribs here. They look pretty nice. Plenty of meat on them. Should be pretty good. And the brisket. Nice and uh, nice size piece. Should be pretty good. I think I'm just gonna use a uh, fairly simple rub. Just gonna I think for the beef lungs, just gonna use a hot sauce and salt and pepper. Brisket, just Worcestershire sauce and salt and pepper. Should be pretty good. Prep the brisket with the Worcestershire sauce and salt and pepper mix. Nice and coated. And just gonna start on the um, beef, beef ribs. I decided to use uh, this ghost town hot sauce. That's Tubby Tom's ghost town hot sauce. All right, so that should be, uh, should be good. And all fully marinated with the pepper and the hot sauce and salt. I used uh, this rainbow salt, rainbow pepper even, rainbow pepper and uh, Himalayan salt. Pretty nice. This stuff's just like different colours. Mm. We use it on both of them, and then this one's got Ghost Town chili on the beef ribs and Worcestershire sauce on this one on the brisket. All right, I'll get these on the barbecue in a minute, and uh, should be nice tea. Meat on the barbecue, got the brisket at the top, and the beef ribs at the bottom. Oh my nice Weber Smoky Mountain barbecue. Put the lid on. These nice, uh, nice containers to move the meat around in. Put it back on. There we go. Hopefully, it'll get back up to temperature and uh, we'll be in business. So, here we go. Half an hour in, and the temperature's pretty much perfect. The sun on the hot side of the smoke. Let's smoke a bit. But I want it pretty hot for the, for the beef anyway, so. Pretty perfect. And look back at it in uh, another an hour and a half. Just leave the lid on for now, as soon as it's all good. Perfect temperature. So I'm just gonna open it up, it's smelling pretty good. Oh, get the colour on that, it's got a nice colour to it. And smoky colour. And the big ribs at the bottom as well, looking pretty good. Very good. Bones are starting to come out on the uh, on the beef ribs. That's one bone. Yeah, looking pretty good. 
I'll leave the brisket for another hour and check on it in an hour and then maybe wrap. Alright. Here's that there. It's like the uh, brisket hats dripping down onto the uh, to the beef ribs. Give me some added flavour. Back on. I think the uh, might have to fill the water up. The water's looking a bit low at the bottom. I don't think it's going to really soon. Alright, I'll check back in, in uh, an hour. Three hours in, update. Ooh, looking very good. Get that colour. This little one's definitely ready to wrap. Might be the big one for another half hour, maybe. Um, oh, well, beef. Beef ribs look pretty good. I filled it back up with some more water. That's looking pretty good. Still plenty of juice in it. No what's that. Wrapped a little bit. Double wrapped it. It's a nice to nice long long tin foil. Wrap it a bit in a little while. So we need a little more colour I reckon. A little more colour. Yeah, so we are four hours in. And let's have a look. Temperature looks good. Let's see how it's doing. I think it's looking pretty good. It's smelling amazing. I think I'm going to wrap the brisket now. I think the ribs are just starting to poke out. I think I'll be done in, the, in about two hours. Alright. So. Wrap them. Wrap that brisket up. So I've got the brisket in the tin foil. Just gonna give it a quick spray with some uh, apple juice mixed in with some uh, apple cider vinegar. Just to make sure it looks nice and juicy. Give it a good all round spray. There we go, I'm going to wrap it up. Nice. I'll put, put one lot to put it on first and pull up the, pull up the edges. And then put the lot to pile on top. And then we'll go back on the barbecue. There we go, both wrapped up and back on the barbecue. Probably need to just add a bit more water. Add some more water and then uh, leave it to smoke for another two hours. And then I think by then, beef rib should be done, brisket should be done, everything should be done. Probably take the little one off before then. Ribs have come out just perfect. Look at the size of them. They're all pretty good. Just pulls apart. Easy. Lovely. Got the plate all set. 
set up. And I'm going to show some of us that actually bite mark. Nice. And look at all this smoke ring in it. Just come out absolutely perfect. Look again, smoke ring all the way around that. That's just so juicy. Pulls apart nicely. And the brisket. Really good too.